Hey, water signs, what's up? This is for Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. We're going to see what comes out and what my intuition tells me, okay? That's why your focus is really just on the cards today. Spirit, give me messages for Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and water signs for what's currently going on, please. Someone isn't being honest about money or being honest about a woman. The Pisces Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Please, what's going on? The Fool. That's Pisces and Aries to me. The Six of Wands. Ace of Pentacles. Six of Cups. <laughs> Will of Fortune. Magician. Wow. Underneath is the moon. This is deception, dreams, lies, fooling yourself about your feelings. <sighs> Else, ah, oh, shit. Ha! Huh. I can't avoid that. I can't avoid this. Look at this. We have the moon, death, and the tower. This is under there. Yeah, so this could literally be the lie coming out. A message about the deception, about the stalling. About the no action. Okay. Like, I think this is going to force you. This is <laughs> right now. Right now. This is what's going on. It's either you or someone you're dealing with. It was fast. It was a very fast decision. Latest. Or you just took a leap to feel free. I, I see this as freedom. From away, away from all that. Of the shelf life. Like this was. There was a time stamp on the shelf life. You or someone else was like, I'm done. I can't, I can't deal with this anymore, which is hilarious from our personal crap right now but like uh I can't I can't do this it's keeping me bound and I'm putting an end to it whether I'm ready or not I'm jumping towards this I, I need to be free I need to be free of this entanglement that's entanglement down there that this butterfly has released itself from Six of Wands is victory. That's leaving the entanglement. And the Fool is not, its wings aren't fully developed. It may, you may have felt like you were not fully developed for this, but you have to, you have to, it's now with those, those energy cards. There's a, there is a definite ending, a definite loss. Let's not lie about it. There is a loss. And I'm sorry for condolences if you just lost someone. And that's made you really push forward. Right? With your insecurities or their insecurities and money. And make you realize what the hell you actually want. Especially with the Ace of Pentacles. And the Six of Cups. That's memories and nostalgia. You know, childhood. Childhood. 
something that ended pushed this, pushed this to leave the entanglement, and is going to set that steed for real stability. This this tree is it's chopped in half. Okay, there's a stump left, but there's sprigs growing from it, right? If this is a person. They had to cut it off or you had to cut it off to really force a change in your life, okay? And these, look at these cards. All right, change. No longer stuck. Manifesting what it is you want, you're looking back. Okay, you're looking at it. Why'd I take so long? Why'd I take so long to make this move? Ah, give me more, please. It's like finally setting down the foundation that you wanted. And uh, it was a, a brutal push towards what you could be. Which is beautiful. This brutal loss and push leads to this. Daughter of Swords, which is the Page of Swords, a normal deck, pushes you to learn, right? Something new, a new way. It's opening a gate. like this was supposed to happen. I feel like someone's knitting with these colors, right? With all this stuff in the in the page. Like you got your knitting needle out. I don't know if that makes any sense to anyone. <laughs> you're gonna you're gonna make a mess first, but that stumbles you on to something that you're supposed to be on. That was a separate message. Ah, here we are. Remember how I said someone was lying about another girl? Who are they? And they were lying about lying, sorry, lying about money and a, a home situation. And someone's like, no, nah, I see this. I need I see that you you think you have a hidden sword here, but I actually have one myself. Let me focus for a minute. <laughs> interesting. Just interesting, really. What else do we have? Okay, we have the Page of Cups in the reverse with the lovers. Or, or someone, sorry, we're going to just say someone because energies can flip here. Someone was pretending, they were pretending they loved someone else for monetary gain. And that was cut off. This is no emotion towards a, 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 a partnership, a contract, a relationship. And this is choosing to not look back anymore. Choosing to stabilize oneself. It was being mocked around, like wasn't sure. And there is nothing but release here. And push towards what was supposed to happen. Something was very stuck. And someone forced to change a situation. Definite ending forced to change changed mindset, a way of doing things, like shit, maybe if I was just honest, all along, give me more please, talisman, you see how she's free, 
she's not wearing much. She's wearing like one of those Buddhist things. She has an orb, um, the yin and yang under her feet, barefoot. <sighs> Trying to hitch a ride, a new path. Really balancing out. Knowing which way she needs to go now, just free flowing. She has any everything she needs within herself. Someone's cleaning house. That's right. Getting rid of the things that hold them back and hold them down and keep their mind burdened and keep them from really <laughs> like given to the world so this force is pushing someone to balance out and someone's gonna get an unexpected message or visitor because of this because of that push now they're balancing out because it's putting them in the darkness now I feel like Pisces we have Pisces Aries Virgo Gemini could be your moon but I was once lost and now I am found and I gotta go. I'm gonna leave it at that, folks. Leave a comment, hit subscribe.